You clearly need a CRM as a real estate professional, right? This way, people and properties do not fall through the cracks. But most CRMs out there are neither practical or customizable. Take a look at KV Core, LionDesk, or Simba. They try to do everything at once at the same time, from listing management to Facebook posts. Why? And they're kind of terrible at each thing individually. This is why in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a hyper customizable CRM specifically for real estate. And the best part is that we're going to supercharge it with awesome automations, such as saving, say, a Facebook page directly to your CRM with one click and so much more. And the links to all of the templates you're going to see in the automations are down below, so you can just start using them with a few clicks. Let's dive in. Let's get started. For our CRM, we'll have just two object types. It's the people and the properties. And to keep things very simple and old fashioned, we're going to be using just a regular spreadsheet. You can do it in a Google Sheet or you can use tools like Airtable or Notion. The benefit of using the latter is that you can relate those two objects. You can say, hey, this person is interested in these three properties, for example. That's one benefit. The second part is that you can filter properties around a little bit more easily. And the third, which is my favorite, you can have board views by status, for example. For this specific build, I'm going to be using Airtable, so don't freak out, it's just a spreadsheet, and follow along. Here we are in Airtable, I'm going to start a new workspace from scratch. On the left side over here, we have different tabs, for example, the first one can be people, and the second tab will be properties. And let's name our sheet Real Estate CRM. But let's go back to our People's tab and customize these fields. We already have four different fields by default. I kind of like them. I'm going to have a status next to each person. Uh, it's up to you what type of statuses you want to have, but let's go ahead and edit those and add some custom statuses. Over here, I'll have a lead status, contacted, viewing scheduled, considering, buying, in progress, and then done, lost, and archived. And let's remove the color grading. Just like this, we have different statuses for our people. I'm going to be a one-man show, so I don't need an assignee or the contact owner. I have some notes, let's add uh, their email, phone number. Finally, I want date contacted and the location that they're interested in. Let's pick multiple select and call it area. We can add this information later on. Let's create the field and there we have our people's tab. The most important thing that you want to do is you want to link the properties to the people. And finally, I want to separate all of the contacts into two types. I can have homeowners and I can have buyers. This is what I will use this field. This is going to be multiple select field and let's call it a list, homeowner and buyer. Now I will go ahead and do exactly the same thing for properties. And there we have it. We have the following columns, address, the status of the property, link to the property, price of the property, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, picture, site plan, and date listed. And I even created a formula to calculate how long the property has been on the market, which is super neat. Now all we need to do is we need to link these two properties together. Let's add another column and pick link to another record. Here we have two tabs people and properties, we want to link properties to people, and let's call this client. And yes, we want to allow multiple records over here. So let's go ahead and create. So there we have all of the clients, and then we might also have property owners. This is just one person. Let's do the same over here, link record, people, disallow multiple records, and create this property. Let's call it property owner. By the way, if you have an existing CRM and a bunch of records, which you probably do, you can just click on this dropdown and import data from CSV, Google Sheet, or Excel. I have a CSV file, I'll edit over here. So there I have all of the data, you try to match it automatically, but here, if it didn't match the fields correctly, because in order for it to match, it needs to pretty much have the exact same field names in both of the columns. So you can just remap them over here. For example, the status shouldn't be imported at all. I also don't have first contacted date right there, but for everything else, it looks good. 
I'm going to click on import. And just like this, here I have all of my data. Now here comes my favorite part. You can lay out this information differently. For example, for sales, I usually prefer using a board view. Here in Airtable, it's called Kanban. So we're going to add the board view. Let's go board view. It's going to be grouped by status. Let's go ahead and do that. So here we have uncategorized, lead, contacted, viewing schedule, considering, buying progress done, lost, archived. I'll probably collapse this text I do not need, like this one, and this one, and also uncategorized. So now I know exactly how my pipeline looks like. Here are all of the people over here. We can also customize cards to view certain fields, such as people's phone numbers or people's email addresses. And most importantly, I want to know the properties that they're interested in. Now, if you talk to John Smith, for example, on the phone, you can move him to contacted. And if you close him on that call to view a certain property, you can move him over here. And just like this, managing contacts becomes extremely easy. But what about the CRM part, right? It's the customer relationship management. How do you manage those relationships? How do you log the information that's important about John Smith? Well, you just click on the card and and here on the right side, you can add a comment uh, such as talked about XYZ. And there you have it. Anybody can log into this specific contact board, look through the comments. You can also see what you talked about because you'll probably have a lot of different contacts that you will be managing. So it's super neat, super nice. You can just use comments as a way for you to track your communication. Another thing I want to show you is filtering out the contacts that are homeowners. I do not want to see them in this board view. So you can just click on filter, add new condition and pick this record called list right here. And if that list contains homeowner, then it will be filtered out. Uh, specifically, I want has none of the following. So those are non homeowners. Now, if we look at Jennifer Davis, it looks like that she is a buyer, which is perfect for me. So the similar logic applies to our original table view. Here we have everything. So I'm just going to rename it really quick and call this all contacts. So I'll just create a new view of all of these properties. I'll add the new grid view and this will be homeowners, create view, filter, owners. And since we're doing the filtering, I'll just hide this field from the view. And I'll do the same for home buyers. I'll just duplicate this view, rename it, call it buyers, and then here, select buyers. And that's the CRM part of the video. And by the way, you can use Airtable on your phone since you're probably on the go all the time anyways. Okay, let's open up Airtable on my phone, select this base. Now I'm going to click on people, all contacts. Here I have all of the information over here. And if I want to add a new contact, I'm just going to click on plus and just fill out all of these fields. And I can also add a comment about this person. Very interested. Send it through. And this information is going to be reflected. I'm going to click out of it. And here I have a new contact created. I can do the same with properties. Let's click on this hamburger menu go to properties, pick our grid view, and just go ahead and add some properties over here. Or you can even snap a picture on the go of a property. There we have it. Here comes the exciting part, automations. It's one thing to build a CRM, which is a one-time thing. And frankly, you can just duplicate it in the description of this video. And it's another thing to manage your CRM. That's where endless copy and pasting comes in. Well, not today. Check out the following automations. Now let's imagine that we are on a listing platform such as Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com, you name it. And we want to add some properties from over here to our Airtable CRM. How do you do it? Without copy pasting, that's the question. So here I'm going to type in my favorite zip code, 94105, San Francisco. Here we have a number of different properties. And here's what I can do. I can open up this property and I'm going to be using a workflow automation tool called Bardeen. You can find it in the link below. Here I have it installed. I'm going to open it up and I can save this Zillow property to Airtable like I promised. One click. 
and this property was added to Airtable. We can just go over here and here we have the property edit. And it has all of the information that we need, including the very picture from that page. Now you can go ahead and pick a different property that you might want to reach out to, to represent like this one. You can open up Bardeen with option B shortcut, maybe collapse it on the side so it's a little bit easier and then click on this card and boom, there we have it saved as well. Now, what if you want to have all of the properties in your CRM so that your team can reach out to them? Well, there's an automation for that as you guessed it and you can do it very, very easily. I'm going to open up Bardeen and here I have this automation that will save properties. This is from search, from Zillow search. I'm going to click on it and specify how many properties I want to extract. Let's go ahead and get 50 properties from this list and I'm going to click on run this. Just like that, it's done. If we go to our CRM, here we have all of the data. Literally everything is right there. So if you're indeed doing outreach, I would recommend you to create a Kanban board right here. Call it property pipeline. Create a new view. Group it by status, just like this. And bam, <laughs> there you have it. There you have a bunch of different properties. Uh, again, you can customize the cards to include information like the price and the link bathrooms, bedrooms. Okay, this looks good to me. You can move the cards around as you wish. And by the way, now that we have all of the properties, if you go to our people's list, for example, here we have Matthew, I'm going to call him up and I'm going to recommend him a few potential properties that he is interested in. And I can just select the properties from uh, this list over here, like this one. And now contacts and properties are interrelated. Again, the links to these automations are down below. There are also options for Redfin, Realtor.com. And the best part is that you can just build your own scraper template, depending on where you want to source contacts and properties from, and just link them to Airtable. Two actions, scraper, Airtable, boom, one click and you have everything saved in one place. And frankly, even those super expensive CRM platforms for real estate cannot do this. And if you want to learn how the scraper works, just click on the card over there and there's a tutorial. Now let me show you how to add contacts to our CRM with a few clicks. Here I am on a Facebook page. Imagine that your leads come from Facebook and then I'm going to open up Bardeen and this time I'm going to show you how to create an automation, super easy. I'm going to create a new playbook and I'm going to pick the scraper action for this specific automation and scrape information on the currently open tab. This is this profile tab and I'm not even going to build a scraper template because Bardeen comes with a pre-built build a scraper template called Facebook personal profile scraper right there. I'm going to click on done. We're extracting information from the currently open tab. And then we're adding this information to let's add new action, Airtable, add data to Airtable. Then we need to pick our tab. We have the people tab over there. And here we have all of the fields. All we need to do right now is map them from one place to another from the scraper action to this Airtable. Here I have the name linked and for the status, I want to have a constant identified status. For the list, it's going to be buyer. Also, it's going to be a constant. And this is all I want to do. I'm going to click on done, click on done again, name this automation such as Facebook to Airtable. Okay, and uh, there we go. There's your automation. You can build one yourself for any website. Uh, let's run it and boom, this contact was created. And there I have a card for this person created. Uh, by the way, you can do one more thing, which is super neat. Let's go back to Bardeen, uh, open it in the builder, click on the second action. And then for the phone number, obviously the phone number is not going to be on that page. You can just um, add under the phone number, ask me every time variable, and then uh, include phone over here. So if you were to run this exact automation one more time, let's uh, delete this contact real quick delete record. So let's go back to Facebook. Let's open up working with a shortcut option B. And now when I run this automation, I'm asked for a phone number. It's not the one click automation, but this is where you can import the phone number. So I'm just going to import mine just like this. And let's run the automation. There we have the phone number edit as well. It's this easy. 
Thanks for watching. The links to the CRM template and all of the automations are down below in the description of this video. And if you want to take your real estate game to the next level, I've created a video dedicated to automations for real estate. You can check it out by clicking on the link over here, right there. See you there.